you have the opportunity to participate in an outreach event that's being hosted by one of our amazing organizations down here in Monroe County, that is AIDS Help. They are gearing up for the sixth annual Pride Film Festival. This festival will be debuting two very powerful documentaries. We're going to give you all the details this morning with the Director of Education over at AIDS Help, Derek Trailer. Derek, thank you for being back with me today. Thank you so much, Jenna, for providing the opportunity opportunity for us to come and talk about our film festival. Well, of course, I love doing anything I can for AIDS help. Now, Derek, as I mentioned, this is the sixth annual yes. Pride Film Festival. So for people who haven't been there in the past, what all takes place during this festival? Well, the uh, festival was originally the idea of a gentleman that has now passed away. His name was Henry Woods. He was very active at our organization. And six years ago, he and I discussed the fact of coming up with a something that highlighted healthy living in relationship to Key West Pride and HIV and AIDS. So uh, the films that we've shown over the past years have been entertaining, and they've also been, been very powerful, talking about the uh, AIDS pandemic and the effects of HIV and AIDS. Um, this year we have two really wonderful films. The first night is a good fun film. It's called I Am Divine. It's about the famous drag performer Divine. Um, the documentary film is by Jeffrey Schwartz who will be Skyping with us afterwards uh, uh, with a Q&A. So we're very excited about that. Uh, it takes him from the beginning of his drag career all the way through the end when he did Hairspray. Mm -hmm. So um, the second night is Thursday, um, June the 6th, and that is that documentary is Deep South. Um, the filmmaker Lisa Bajati is actu actually going to be in the theater with us that night for a Q&A after the film. Uh, this film highlights the impact of HIV and AIDS in the southern United States. Um, most people believe that the southern United States has been most impacted by HIV and AIDS. This film also deals with racism, poverty, lack of housing, lack of insurance, and how all those things have impacted uh, the HIV and AIDS pandemic in the South. We're really excited about both of these films. Of course, they're at the Tropic Cinema, and it's free. So um, we're excited about that also. Each night it starts at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Um, we want to thank the Business Guild for partnering with, with us. Our film festival has always been an official Pride event, so we're really excited about that. Uh, also, Pearls Key West partnered with us this year, and SAMHSA, which is a federal um, program, helped to pay for everything. So we're really excited about that. You're very excited. Well, you have a reason to be excited. And now, Derek, being the Director of Education at AIDS Help, why do you feel it's so important to educate the community about the AIDS and HIV epidemic? Jenna, it's our responsibility to continue to get the word out. We, want, we don't want HIV to become a forgotten disease. And because um, it's something that people should be reminded of and to be reminded of practicing safe sex and to making healthy choices in their lives, uh, it's our responsibility to continue to send that message out to the community to make sure that people uh, realize that HIV and AIDS is still um, a very serious disease. It still causes death and uh, although it's managed chronically now and people live very long and healthy lives, um, we want to avoid spreading the virus and impacting the community any more than it already has been. So uh, we've experienced a lot of cuts in funding, so the money we have is less and we need to make it go farther. So mm -hmm. this is a way we do that. Well, you guys are doing such a great job Thank over you. there at AIDS Help. And again, you have the opportunity to participate in this outreach event that will be taking place, Derek, on June, June 5th and 6th mm -hmm. at 6 p.m. at the Tropic Cinema. All right, and it's great. free. All right. Well, we're going to leave our viewers this morning, actually, with a couple highlights of both of these films so they get a little better idea of what will be playing at the Tropic. Derek, thank you for thank being you, on Jenna. with me this morning. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Enjoy this quick highlight of what will be taking place at the 6th Annual Pride Film Festival.
Jane Mansfield meets Doug Till. Divine wanted me to eat this one. Come on, Ricky, let's share a pie. That's what a pie He had the munchies. And my diet pill is wearing off. So how would you feel about kissing a 300-pound transvestite? It's a beautiful day, and I find you quite attractive. He would do anything. Think of what Divine was asked to do and what he actually did, and then what John would think up for him to do next. Someone has sent me a foul! It's Divine's turn, actual turn. She became an underground movie star so fast. And the showbiz offers are pouring. She wanted to be Elizabeth Taylor. It was punk, it was raunchy, it was outrageous, it was glamorous. I was vomiting. Shut up! Oh, we're going off the air. Give me ten dollars. I want money. How about a fabulous frock just for me? Divine is dangerous. Part outlaw, part serial killer. Who wants to die for art? She was just barreling through the swoons, chewing up the scenery, and owning every minute of it. She was simultaneously sexy, and monstrous, and terrifying. process for how it started. Back then, our neighborhood was really, really thick with people. I mean, so thick until if somebody just disappeared or walked away, you wouldn't even notice it. There are so many different levels of secrecy. We walk around with smiles on our face. On the inside, we're screaming. Some say that homosexuality is not a sin. It is. AIDS is God's curse to homosexual life. Some of you will like what I have to say, and some of you probably won't. But I'm going to give you my opinion, and I'll try to be as objective as I can. People usually don't get to tell their story at home. And people need to tell their story. I leave so much because it's something that's bothering me or haunting me. And I'm steadily trying to run from it. You put your life on hold for other folks and you ain't living your life. It's always time for Josh to do Josh's life. I'm not very close to a lot of people because I think, you know, like maybe I'm contaminated. You're not contaminated, baby. Everybody else around you is contaminated. We don't have high-paid lobbyists. We don't have a lot of money. Here are some of the things we do have. The most people living with HIV and AIDS, the most poverty, the most sexually transmitted infections, the most people without health insurance, the most vulnerable populations, the fastest growing epidemic, the least access to health care, the highest mortality rates, and the least resources to deal with this crisis. Whatever is wrong down the line, we have to go back and fix it. In order to fix it, we have to find out what went wrong. It'll be okay.